Okay, ladies, are you ready for today's 10 minute creation? I have this very cute, clean and simple card, very easy, could be for any occasion. You could always add a sentiment on here if you wanted to, you don't have to. And check out the inside and the envelope. I've carried those dots through and that lovely flower spray. Join me in the craft room today as we make this one. Okay, ladies, time for our 10 minute creation. I have what I'm playing with today, so let's see how it turns out. I will be using the Timeless Texture Stamp Set, specifically the dots. I will be using Touches of Texture. Now this is a two set um, stamp set. I'm gonna be using these flowers out of here. I'm going to use a piece of our copper foil paper and this is actually two and a fourth by three and three fourths. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock and it is two by three and a half. I have my card base which is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a fourth. I will be using some of our copper foil trim got my envelope got my envelope I have a old olive marker and a peekaboo peach marker I have the crumb cake pad I have the memento pad and then I have my usuals not knowing what I'm going to use I have my multi-purpose glue my tear and tape my scissors my bone folder and my glue dots if I need them I have them Okay, first thing I want to do is bring in my paper, and I need to get a scrap paper. Good thing my scrap paper is right up above my head. I always forget that. All right, and I'm going to put that down here, and I'm going to use my crumb cake and my little dots. And yes. I'm going to do a second generation stamping. I'm just adding some texture. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on across the bottom of my envelope. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold my card and do the inside of my card. Okay, and I'm gonna run that down this side, I think. Okay, that's done. Next thing I need to do is I'm going to stamp my image. So I'm inking up my stamp. And I'm not too worried about getting all of the stem on there, so I'm going to move down just a little. And while I've got it inky, I'm going to do, oops, missed a spot there. I'm going to do my envelope. And I'm just doing a piece of it. And I'm going to do the same with the edge of my card, but I'm going to off stamp it because I don't want it, I don't want it real dark since it's the inside. Okay, everything stamped. Now for the coloring. I'm going to color my leaves with my old olive marker. Okay. And I will do the same on my envelope.
and I keep trying to put it away and I'll just go ahead and do my cart. Now I can put it away. I don't need this anymore either. I can get rid of it. All right, now with my peach, I'm going to color my buds and my flowers. And I'm going to move to the envelope. And finally, to my tag. All right, we're moving right along. I'm gonna use glue dots and I'm gonna attach this to my copper foil paper. Oops, that one didn't come off. I'm just putting one in each corner and I'm going to that down here. Okay, I'm going to use my tear and tape on the back for my ribbon. I oh, need my scissors. All right, I want the bottom. I'm going to run my copper foil around the bottom. go. doesn't want to come off. Now I'm going to take my copper foil and I'm going to cut a piece a little longer. I'm going to use my ribbon scissors a little longer and I'm going to put this right across the bottom. Like so. There. Yeah. You have to be careful with this copper foil ribbon. It likes to to bend on you and it can uh, not be straight then. Okay, I'm gonna put that over there and that over there. And now I'm gonna get my dimensionals because I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of this. There, one here, and get my yucky scissors to cut this. I always have a pair of yucky scissors for this kind of stuff. Saves your good scissors. Okay, there we go. There goes that, and that, and one more up here. Um, this copper foil has a tendency to bend. That's why I'm using so many um, dimensionals. Okay, this is a quick and easy card, very simple. I'm going to put it right in the center, like so. And if you wanted to take it further, you could emboss the background. You could um, stamp the background with something. You could put it on a piece of vanilla and put it on a peach cardstock or old olive cardstock. But I wanted a clean and simple card, and that's what I got. There's my card, and the inside, and the envelope. I hope you enjoyed this one today. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. Have a great day, and I'll see you the next time.